What's up Smashers? DK Bill here, keeping it real as always, and today I want to give you my top 5 sleeping tips. Personally, I've struggled with sleeping my entire life. It was honestly just something that never came easy, and something I still struggle with to this day. If you've ever seen me in real life, you've probably noticed big bags under my eyes. And even though most of the time it gives me that alluring Robert Pattinson look from Twilight, it doesn't always. And if you see me with bloodshot eyes, I really wasn't high, I just didn't get any sleep. I've drastically improved my ability to sleep throughout my life. I know a lot of Smashers struggle with this, and it can seriously hinder your gameplay. So without further ado, here are my tips, and this one's for all the M2Ks and allies out there. Tip number one is going to be sleep and wake up at the same time every day. Your body runs on habits and routines. Whatever is routine comes naturally. You get hungry at the same times, and you probably shit at the same times. When you make it a habit to sleep and wake up at the same time, your body will efficiently make you sleepy and wake you up at the right times. If you know you'll have to sleep early during an upcoming tournament weekend, try to get into the habit ahead of time. Tip number two is going to be sleep in a cool environment. Your body needs to lower its core temperature to initiate sleep. That's why you'll feel colder when you wake up in the morning. You'll find it much easier to fall asleep in a cool environment, and this is anywhere from 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And for you Celsius folk, that's like 16 to 20 degrees max. I recommend taking a warm shower close to bedtime. Even if it's a warm shower, your body will actually react to the warmth by increasing heat loss, by increasing blood flow to the skin. A cool shower might keep you cool in the moment, but soon after you might feel a little hot. Tip number three is going to be don't eat before bed. A small snack is okay, but if you're going to eat a huge meal before bed, you're either going to be uncomfortable, be energized, or at the very least, not have a good quality sleep because your body's digestive system just can't get a proper rest. Try to avoid excessive sugar, carbs, and protein right before bed, which are all not so easily digested. Do yourself a favor, and if you really want a midnight snack, grab yourself a piece of asparagus or something. Tip number four is gonna be exhaust your body. It's no wonder that so many people struggle with sleep these days when human beings were made to walk miles on miles every single day, yet majority of people are sitting down most of their time. I found to get a good night's rest, it's actually a lot more effective and pleasant just to take a very long walk instead of doing rigorous lifting at the gym, which is useful but it's just not necessary. Walking is what we are made to do and the longer you walk, the more likely you're going to have an incredible sleep. Tip number five is going to be exhaust your mind. The absolute number one thing that has saved me from my sleeping problems is working on these YouTube videos, without a doubt. I really put a lot of thought into these scripts and I'm quite unskilled at creating videos, so I really put in all my creative effort to try to make something work. I found that this really tires my mind and I've never slept so easily since I was doing two hour walks before bed every night. I recommend working on something you're passionate about, where you're actually motivated to put in substantial mental effort that'll tire you out. In the end, sleeping is just shutting off your mind. The more tired your mind is, the easier this will be. Reading a book can do the trick too, but for those who really struggle, that might not be enough. I actually encourage more than reading is just to sit down and think. So when you lie down in your bed, you can put those thoughts to rest and just focus on blackness, on peace, lay down in one position and just get a good night's rest. I really hope you guys got something out of these tips because no one's ever enthusiastic to play in tournament with little to no sleep. Again, this is from someone who's battled with sleeping problems his entire life. I really understand the struggle guys, so please feel free to reach out to me at any point in the comments or you know my Twitter DMs, those are always open. Just if you want to talk about it because I have an infinite amount of advice and I think I could really help a lot of people solve a sleeping problem. If I had to pick my top 5 tips though, these were the ones. Please leave a suggestion in the comments of what you'd like to hear me cover in a video. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to hit that DK thumbs up and spank that subscribe button. Have a swell evening and I'll see you next time.